Welcome everybody, thank you for tuning in today. We've got a fun little tech check. It's gonna take you to two different continents. Today we've got Sean Cochran here from Schwalbe, North America. These Eddy Currents have been some of our favorite e-bike tires. They have been uh, supporters of our e-bike shootout in years past. So we've got a lot of miles on countless number of bikes. But today we're gonna learn a little bit of more from Schwalbe, Germany where some of Sean's cohorts are gonna be taking our Robert through a tour and showing him some of the tech. We'll start with the Eddy Current backstory. With the rise of e-bikes, uh, we thought it was important to develop an e-bike specific tire. And so the Eddy Current is the first iteration of that tire after going through you know, multiple development processes. And so what we did with uh, Robert from the Lone Wolf, we brought him over to our headquarters in Germany. We're just outside of Cologne. And we brought him through that process of how we develop a mountain bike and e-bike specific tire. And we had him meet with uh, both our lab manager and our product management team over there. Hey guys, Robert here. I'm here today at the Schwalbe headquarters in Reichshof in Germany, where we're gonna be taking a look inside, checking out their lab, and speaking to some of the crew and learning a little bit more about the development of their tires. Let's go and check inside and see where the magic happens. What, what do you think you're doing differently uh, when you're designing an e-mountain bike tire compared with a regular mountain bike tire? Our aim was to have a tire that is really puncture protected, that is really doable and also had a lot of grip. Because of the battery, we said, it's holding resistance and weight is not so important, therefore, therefore you have the battery, but here you really want to focus in a bulletproof setting, that you don't have a puncture, that you have a lot of grip, that you can trust on. So, the weight is a little bit on, on, on the higher side, but therefore you get a really good tire, that you can ride on and, and trust on. Sean, how do you prioritize durability, grip, puncture protection, and weight? We looked at this tire particularly needing to be extremely durable because of those crazy amount of miles that you can put on with an e-bike, which you simply can't with a um, with a pneumatic or acoustic bike, as mm -hmm. we like to call them. So uh, the eddy current specifically, the tread pattern, uh, the casing constructions are all based on durability and making sure you get those additional miles out of a set of these tires. Does that come down to tire compound, knob layout? Like how do you get that, that added durability or longevity, I guess we'll call it. So through this, we add multiple of our technologies that are available across the board on our mountain bike tires. So we use our Attic soft compound in this um, versus it's the second softest compound that we make, the DH tires using the ultra soft would be our softest where grip maximum grip is the is utmost importance mm -hmm. uh, with the soft it still uh, it still rolls well um, but offers an, an immense amount of grip um, also with e-bikes that allows that power transfer from the motor to the ground uh, by using the soft compound so even though we're looking at durability being the primary thing we still used a soft rubber compound so you could have the performance of the motor of the e-bike being transferred and you could feel that. Uh, the next is the casing it's built on. So the rear tire is built on a super gravity <coughs> casing. A little heavy for everyday trail use, mm -hmm. not quite heavy enough for downhill use, but again on an e-bike it's the perfect solution uh, because of the added weight of the motor. Um, you can be ultra aggressive. You're hitting rocks at higher speeds going uphill mm -hmm. and downhill. And so we use our um, super gravity casing in that aspect. Um, all of these obviously are set up tubeless. So then that way you can still run lower pressures, have that power transfer from the motor as the tire works and conforms to rocks and, and helps you climb and, and really use the motor as well. We have uh, the snake bite tester, or in the past we call it the guillotine. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a device to test the, the puncture protection of a tire. It's uh, not only for mountain biking, because uh, of um, some bad pavements in the city, we test two and uh, road bike test tires too. Sure. And now I can show you how we test it and uh, what's possible with this device. Perfect. And can you simulate me on the machine? 
because I don't know. I think I'm I'm harder on the no, tires okay. than some. This machine is harder. It's okay. Right. <laughs> I uh, hope so. Now we uh, we start with an uh, an height of 350 millimeters, and uh, we increase the high after every punch. And if we have a puncture, we stop the test, and then uh, we note the high, the defection high. As Sasha told you, it's really crucial to have high values, and so you need a lot of force to destroy them. Yeah, clearly. And <laughs> see how... Oh man. We have two bars inside of the tire. Really important data for us to evaluate how good a construction or a, a tire in general is. Because that's something most riders will experience in their during their rides. If you have a snake bite, it's really embarrassing. So and the quickest way to ruin your ride, yeah. isn't it? We give our product management team the ability to think freely. Okay. Um, and with this being the first tire of its kind, obviously as part of that process, we learned a lot here, but we will continue to develop products into the future. And with the e-bike market being so large these days, it's obvious that we need to be developing uh, more products specific to this market. How, how much of your development comes from lab testing versus computer simulation? I think it's a combination of everything. Sometimes uh, we have uh, some, uh, yeah, interesting things which we don't can test inside of the lab. Sure. We have to go outside. But sometimes, uh, like this, nobody can ride 5,000 kilometers uh, for the whole year, every two weeks. Yeah. And, uh, and that, that's the sort of distances that you're simulating on this yeah. machine, yeah. And what is important about the lab? You know, you have only one value that you change. All other parameters are exactly the same. So we can compare different tires, different car const constructions. And if you go out on the, on the track, maybe the, the conditions change, something else change, and then it's hard to tell whether, you know, this one thing is really that influence. Sure. Or, and that's why we test a lot in the lab. But for sure, the final test is out on, on the field because there the tire have to perform and uh, to convince. We'd see a lot of comments coming in on YouTube of people running this eddy current front especially, yes. and they absolutely love it on their analog bikes. Exactly, so the eddy current front has actually won a World Cup downhill. No way. Under Amory Perion in uh, Fort William. No way. A few years ago. I did not so, know that. Uh, again, we talk about e-bike tires, but the eddy current front specifically is an amazing rear tire as well in specific conditions. Was he running on the rear? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Front and rear? No, Magic okay. Mary front with a that on the rear. current rear. No kidding. I did not know that. Learn yes. something new every day. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for coming along on this journey. Sean, thank you and Schwalbe Germany for uh, the opportunity to come see how tires are developed and tested. If you have any questions that you would like to ask, other than uh, does a tire cost 50 cents, please do so down below and uh, we will get back to you or we'll reach out to the folks at Schwalbe and they can hopefully point you in the right direction from their cool tread finder to compound and sidewall suggestions and uh, who knows there might be something cool coming out in the near future. Keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the trail.